Absolutely. No, and I think that's My the power personal of concerns about uh, this exhibit okay. was the fact that the things. point of this exhibit, according to the artist, was to... Well, this exhibition started uh, as a call for entries uh, in September of this year. This is the first time the gallery has ever uh, had a call for art where they've asked a multitude of artists from the region and the locally to submit work to the gallery. So in September, a call went out um, that asked for visual works that elicited um, conversation or that elicited um, visual works that talked about the individual artist's concerns and hopes for the future mm -hmm. with the election campaign as it was proceeding. This is, you know, I love uh, working at a liberal arts college because of the breadth of ideas that come from different departments. It's rich. Hi, my name is Marlene Checo, and I am a member of Black, Brown, and Proud, and I'm also a Salem State University student. My name is Kiana DeBose, and I'm a member of BBP. Um, so my name is Asia Joseph. I'm a BBP representative. Um, so initially, the art gallery was brought to our attention after our Brave Space. So the school and President of Missouri hosted a Brave Space to kind of talk about your feelings after the election and how we felt. And we walked downstairs after the Brave Space concluded to write our messages of hope on the board. And some people went in to view the art gallery, which they just viewed controversial pieces provided with no context and just the mere title. So the my issue with the piece was more so not even the piece so my issue isn't with the imagery my issues with the presentation um, I went in maybe five days after the brave space to view it for myself and I was I had an interaction with two people um, and they kind of just spoke about me as if I wasn't there they talked about how oh well why are people offended by the, this piece they're looking for a reason to be offended like what does this mean and it just it showed that our university wasn't at the level of competency it needs to be to hold art galleries of this sort um, we need to be more cautious of how we present information what resources we utilize to present that information and then how that information is going to be received so intent doesn't matter because perception is everything so how I receive it is the end of the story. Um, I'm not gonna always go back to your intent and that's not always relevant, so you have to remember that. Um, I think it's very important that we realize, one, the universities and the art department's reasoning for putting up the art gallery was, was provoking commentary, so you intended to provoke conversation. Initially, you didn't host those conversational spaces, so when you provoke conversation, you allow that to be the conversation amongst campus instead of guiding it um, to where it needs to be understanding that not everyone understands the different historical periods everyone has gone through. So to provoke conversation and not provide physical conversational space um, is irresponsible on part of the university. I guess, I mean like my kind of opinion of of it like seeing the pictures initially I was kind of like taken aback obviously because they're very controversial pieces and then there not being any context I was also very confused and I wanted to know why they made the pieces and then just the fact that when we came to get context we were given context and that was fine and then kind of just being shrugged off in a way it was like very like very frustrating much of it was a misunderstanding and a, um, the work wasn't contextualized. The statements that you see up on the wall presently uh, weren't initially there. All of those statements were included in the guest book, which is kind of protocol for galleries. And um, usually students, visitors, they go, they view the work, 
and then they go to the book and they refer to some of the context. Um, what I think students saw, and, and these are not um, seasoned gallery goers, that they were immediately confronted with an image out of context that caused a lot of pain. Um, so I think that pretty much was the uh, was what created so much uh, vehement you know rejection of the exhibit right off the bat. Because seeing these all the time, like just seeing these in school, it's very frustrating to have to have these conversations. Like I, I don't know, like it's very hard to explain, but it's just frustrating how when you have a problem with something and they want to have a conversation about it, but they don't actually want to have a conversation about it, that more really just is like, why do you want to have the conversation if you're not going to listen at all? It's heartening because you kind of expect these things from your university. You expect that your university understands the things you go through. You expect that if you tell your university the things you go through, that they'll respect it and they'll act upon it. But instead, I felt like they acted to kind of mm, dilute the media, kind of shield themselves from lawsuits because they could be sued for censorship and things like that, but it wouldn't have to come to that if your process was clean. So when you present a piece of artwork, you, you have to think about who does this affect, what's the message we're trying to portray, what are, the, what are those conversations like, and are those conversations happening on our campus already? Those conversations aren't already happening on our campus if you're not a criminal justice major, social work major, or a poli-sci major, and then if you end up with the right professor who knows how to talk about those things. So you have to understand that we're a liberal arts school, we're supposed to be well-rounded in all categories, and you don't allow that to happen because you don't utilize your different resources. So if the art department were to utilize the history department, student involvement activities, the diversity and multicultural affairs, the social work department, these could have been conversations that could have been going on from the start, from September. And then when State of the Union art exhibit was exposed, it would have, you would have had more guided conversation, more knowledge, more context. People would have been able to kind of curb a conversation if it was going left, but you didn't allow students to have that knowledge, have that, that context. And then, quite simple, this, what does the title mean? Like, that is such a mere title. So other schools who have done controversial art galleries, they've done things um, titling, like, crossing the line. That's a clear depiction of Okay, so when I look at this, when I look at these pieces, even if I didn't see the title initially, I look at these pieces and I say, wow, so what is the school trying to get at? And then I step back and I see, okay, the title is crossing the line. I can apply what the, the definition to just the phrase crossing the line means to your message, but what does State of the Union mean to, to most students? And that was what was missed by the university. I put the context up on the walls, but um, in retrospect, maybe a little bit too late. Some of my personal concerns about this exhibit was the fact that the point of this exhibit, according to the artist, was to display artwork about current events that they felt like was something important to talk about. But when students went to go discuss how this was offensive to them and discuss the feelings and the repercussions of this exhibit to the artist and to the art department, their response was very shrug off um, and very non-competent to have that conversation. So if they weren't able to have that conversation, then they shouldn't have had an exhibit like this in the first place. I think that this artwork was more for having an exhibition and they didn't think about the repercussions of their decisions about what their topic was. I think that they just wanted to have something controversial to have people go to their art gallery but they weren't thinking about how this was going to affect the students who are colored in this university, especially since this university is such a diverse university. I feel like they somewhat did, I want to say like yes and no because they did open up that space for us to speak. So yes, in some sort of way, they did like want to hear what we had to say. They had some sort of uh, consideration. I feel like that was also kind of like pressurized by like the media attention and stuff like that. But then I don't really feel like 
what we were saying was really getting to them because it is still up and there are still people that are very, very, very upset. So I feel like yes and no. I think that it is pretty clear to say that the students aren't being heard because we've clearly outright said uh, how this affected us and we've shown how this affected us. If you log on to any social media sites, you can see kind of the outcries of the colored students and kind of some of the horrible, nasty comments made by students of other races against students of color because of this exhibit and still to this day nothing has been done by the university about this or by the department that made this exhibit. I feel like um, one of the things that could have been done to help prevent the situation was just putting up the context as there's like artists there that had no idea that there was going to be such little context with their pieces. So like more communication with the artists on what is actually going to be happening rather than just kind of saying like we're going to do this but then not actually do it. And then also having it like kind of getting looked at by more people before it goes up because stuff like that is actually like it can be very sensitive to people and that's how stuff like this happens. Yeah. I think that in order to have prevented this situation in the first place, the way that our university goes about displaying pieces of work in an exhibition is kind of not helpful for a college campus. The fact that there's only one person choosing what art piece gets displayed is kind of um, not helpful, especially since this is a diverse campus and a diverse group of people and students. I feel like there should be more research done into how this will affect people and what exhibits will be beneficial for the community of Salem and for the community of students on this campus. Absolutely, absolutely. It was a wonderful learning experience for me, the dialogue that got created, an unanticipated dialogue from the students that objected to the show. Um, I understand that images elicit ideas and emotions, but I had no idea uh, until I viscerally saw the hurt that had occurred um, when these images were visualized in a non-contextual way. Um, I think there's, there's a lot of work to be done. It's a liberal arts college. Um, you know, I'd, I'd do it differently. I think I'd put out uh, a call uh, and let students, faculty, and staff know the content of uh, what was going to be going up in the gallery and I think there'd be there'd be more opportunity for dialogue in the gallery under that under the circumstances but um, it, it, I think it's an important show and it's an important conversation to have especially in the in the climate that we find ourselves I think that that generated a lot of um, the unsettling feelings that that occurred uh, because had it been a different set of scenarios, it probably would have cer certainly been a different, but you don't know. You just don't know oftentimes uh, how that will unfold and, uh, and result. Mm -hmm. I think that it is important for students to understand that even though this is something that you might not feel affected by, um, this is something that students of color we have to deal with every day and we have to go outside of our university and feel oppressed all the time. Um, we constantly go through our daily struggles and our daily battles with feeling oppressed and to have to come to school and feel oppressed even more, it's really tedious and it weighs down on us and this is not something that should have happened on this campus. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.